What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Holy smokes. There's that many requesters. I actually had to scroll down. There are that many requesters. I had to scroll down to see what we're doing here. Uh, okay, we're coming back to Baby Metal. Yes, indeed. Uh, baby metal fans, feeling you. Come on now. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, how many do we have here? Oh, time out. I, I gotta count this. Time out, time out. I'll be right back. <laughs> back okay um holy smokes uh 47 requesters for this one song are you kidding me oh my god uh i do believe we have a new record now for most requesters of a single song i think this is the most requesters i've ever had for a single song um and i double checked there are no duplicates every person here is unique okay I'm going to go through this list one time, okay? I'm only going to do it once. I'm not going to do it again. So if you want to hear your name, listen carefully right now, okay? All right. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's a lot of people. I hope I don't mess any of these names up. All right. So Gary Sugit, Rio Basso, Paul Omiara, Dylan Blurton, George Barbour, uh, Maximus Houghton, David Ornberg, Sarge Gambling, Dwayne Diamond, Draculus666, Joe Sacconi, Cuddy Sark, Maldini PL, Yukio Yamane, uh, Brandon Herrera, Carl D. Vreis, uh, Chris West, Mr. The Dutchman1, Paul Reed, Fair, Hitabon Nord, Necrophagist uh, Suik Mays. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Abu X Guerrero. Metallion One. KDT Grave Mix Covers. Uh, Reggie Alkalen. I'm uh, oh, sorry. Reggie Alkalen. That's better. Zabri Abu Bakar. Michael Noriega. X Delilah X. Demon, uh, Dawn's 85, we're almost done, I promise, Cryptic Misery, Gabriel Rabusa, Delphinix A, I hope I pronounced that right, Bill R, Sailor Cat, Taipan, Rod Showoff, uh, JP, Vindrow, Steve Chevy, Ice Ventura, Joe Thompson, we're almost done, I promise. We're, we're right there. Nima 2, Stanley Day, Johnny Sal, and Hakone Gaming and Toys. 47 requesters all wanted to see me react to this song by Baby Metal called Road of Resistance. Okay. Have I heard the song before? No, I have not. Uh, this is not something that rings a bell with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a chance I may have heard this song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, a lot of people in the comments mentioned two things to me. Uh, number one, apparently Dragon Force, or at least Herman Lee, I think, had a hand in helping to write this song. So they said, expect to hear a lot of Dragon Force influence, and I'm expecting that, okay? And the other thing they said was, in light of my last two, well, I'm filming this before 
Doki Doki Morning comes out. I, I don't think Doki Doki Morning has been released yet, my reaction to that song. But I did a reaction to Gimme Chocolate, and this is the song that they said would sell me. They were like, if this song doesn't sell you on baby metal, then nothing will. Uh, if I remember correctly, if memory serves right, I gave Gimme Chocolate an 8.5, and I think I gave Doki Doki Morning a 7.5, because I'll be honest with you, I don't get it. I, I don't get it, but they, everybody pretty much said, if this song, this song does not grab you, if this song doesn't sell you, if this song does not make you fall in love with baby metal, nothing else will. Okay, well, this is their third shot, so we'll see what happens here. Um, this was, po oh, another thing I gotta mention. Apparently, from also what I was reading in the comments, this song is savagely blocked more than any other baby metal song out there. So, I have to be careful. This means I will be pausing frequently. I'm sorry, I apologize in advance, but I'm just letting you know, I want to do everything I can to make sure that this gets through on YouTube and does not have to go over to Patreon it's where you have to pay a dollar to go see it. I know it's only a dollar, but folks, a dollar in this day and age is still a dollar. And if you don't need to spend it, I'd rather have you watch it for free. So just letting you know. If for some reason I can't and it has to go on Patreon, then so be it. But I'm going to do my best by pausing frequently. I'm talking at least 20 to 30 seconds I'm going to be pausing. So just letting you know. If you don't like that, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. I will leave a link below in the description. You can go and you can watch the unedited, unstopped, no reaction video on your own. You can watch it to your heart's content. Okay. All right. Let's get to this. Ah, uh, this was posted by Baby Metal. <laughs> Here we go. And the video has 27 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Baby Metal. Whoops. Road of Resistance. Live in Japan. Official. Oh, boy. Okay. Um... Like I was told, this is highly blocked. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to do my best. Um, apparently, also, the last two videos, uh, I was told if, if they were wearing, like, skeleton costumes, that's not even really a band. That's just a bunch of actors. Well, they fooled me on Give Me Chocolate. Um, I thought they were really playing. How little did I know? Um, but apparently, they're actually using a live band, I believe, from what I remember in the comments, called the Kame Band. K-A-M-I, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Kame, or Kami. Um, so, they're, these are real musicians now. And apparently, they're really good, and I'm going to be impressed by them. It's a lot of hype. We'll see. All right, let's do... Wait a minute. Eight minutes and 43 seconds. Uh -huh. You know how I feel about long videos. Um, this better be good. <laughs> uh, I, I am tougher. I am tougher and harder on long videos. Now, if it impresses me and I'm thoroughly entertained, you got nothing to worry about. If this does not thoroughly entertain me, and if I am not impressed, and if it's 8 minutes and 43 seconds of ho-hum, well, I'm going to be tougher on it than I normally am. I'm just being honest with you guys, and I'm letting you know. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. 8.43. This better be good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That crowd is huge. Look at the size of that crowd. All up there, all up there. Where are they playing right now? What venue is this? This isn't Budokan, is it? Oh, 
I know I've asked this question in the past, and I, I'm going to ask it again. How big is this band? How big are these girls? I mean, I'm looking at this crowd. It's packed. It is absolutely packed. Look at the, I mean, there's lights all the way up here in the rafters. My God. Talk about being up in the nosebleeds, and it looks like they are jam-packed up there. Back it up a little bit. Let's start that all over again, shall we? Hands going up. <laughs> Branding. Hey, that's smart. You know, look, if you're going to carry flags, carry flags with your band name and your band logo on it. Uh, it's a great logo, by the way. Um, very cool design. It's, it's not overly complex. It's pretty simple design, but very effective. Good use of sharp edges. Um, imagery, the cracking. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I see. I, I do believe the musicians are live this time. Um, I was told that in the comments, and so far it looks like they are live. They all look like ghosts. They're all wearing like white robes, and, I mean, and thin white robes to boot. They're not even heavy. They're really thin, and they're wearing makeup. They look like ghosts. Kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, this song already has... A call to arms, a call to action type of feel to it. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm absolutely digging it. Let's keep going here. Very good. Is she calling for a wall of death? Or is she saying just open the pit? Usually when you say open the pit, you'll do something like this. You know, open up, open up. But when you do this type of emotion, you're calling for a wall of death. Are we going to see a wall of death here? Oh my God, it looks like we are. They're separating. Oh man. That's dope. happened there we we had this slow pulsing driving intro and then it kicks into I, I can't even call it double time this is like quadruple time compared to what the intro was and they just took off like a shot I'm sorry I gotta go back I gotta hear that again no no I don't care hey listen it's my show. If I want to go back, we're going to go back. I want to hear that again. I was not expecting that type of... I, I thought they were going to kick in a little faster and a little harder, but I didn't think they were going to kick in that fast. And the wall of death happened, boy. Holy smokes. The pit came alive. What about here, I think? So much to see!
it's too much. It's I'm having this doesn't happen very often to me. I'm having visual overload. I'm having a hard time keeping up with everything. As I'm processing one thing, the next thing's already in front of my face. And before I have a chance to process that, it's on to the next thing. So it's like I have to skip something to be able to catch the next thing. You know, it that kind of sucks. But man alive, the, the pyro, the set design, the crowd interaction, the choreography, the music. It's a little much. It's I, I'm seriously, I, I'm feeling sensory overload right now. And for me to get sensory overload takes a lot. I can usually handle things, but it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I love the fact that musicians were back there. I, I only saw one. I only saw it one time, but even one time is better than none. Musician on, on an when he was able to put his fist up in the air and pump it. That's always good. That's always good. Um the more motion and energy you have on stage, the better. I've always been a big advocate of that. So I wish I could understand what they were saying. <laughs> But I feel the energy in the song. I feel the call to arms. I can feel the call to action in this song. This song is absolutely wanting me to pick up a weapon and march off to war. Absolutely. And join the cause. Whew. Oh, we switched to a major mode. I love it. They switched to that major mode. That's fantastic. Coming out of the minor and going to the major. I love it when bands do that. I love it when bands are able to take a song and it's in minor for the most key, but you know, for the most part it's in a minor key, but then they'll have that transition to a major key before they go back into a minor key again. I love it when bands do that. This is a well-written song, like well-written, and I can absolutely hear the Dragon Force influence. Yes, I can. They, they, they definitely had a hand in this without question. Oh, dear Lord, we're going to have a guitar solo right now. Jeez. <laughs> I caught a glimpse of the bass player. Um, I didn't see him for very long. I, I saw the neck. It looks like a thick neck. I'm willing to bet he's playing a six. Maybe even a seven. I mean, I'm trying to think about my seven. How thick is my seven? I mean, I... Uh... It could be a seven. I mean, it, it's possible. I'm leaning more toward a six. I don't. Not too many bass players. Not too many metal and rock bass players use sevens. Um, jazz musicians, no problem. But rock and metal, not many. Um, he could be playing a seven, but I have a feeling he's playing a six. Very cool. Hey, I have all the respect in the world. 
for bass players who play more than four strings. Absolutely. The more, the better. You know? I love my six strings. I, I, I will never go back to playing a four or... A, I, I never played a five. I, I can't even tell you what it feels like to play a five. I went from four to six. I was an idiot. And I said, you know what? Why waste time on a five? And everyone's like, you should go to a five first to kind of acclimate yourself with that extra string. I was like, who needs to do that? I, I was 15 at the time. So, you know, my ego was, you know, what it was. It wasn't 16. I was 16. I'm sorry. I was 16 at the time. Um, I was like, I don't need to do that. Why waste my time? You know, transition to a five when I can just go right to a six and save some time. It was a struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle to get used to those six, I'll tell you. Um, but I have all the respect in the world for bass players who play sixes in rock bands. Absolutely. Um, let's keep going here. What is that? That's Not this, it's this. But you put it too sweet. Woo! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. I'm going back, I wanna hear that guitar solo again. No, no, I don't care. Look, you can play that pig noise all you want. I don't care. I wanna hear that guitar solo again. The fact that they were in sync and harmonizing as smoothly and as accurately and as cleanly as they were, that is impressive. That is absolutely impressive. If you don't think that's impressive, you don't know anything about guitar playing. That is not easy to do. It's one thing to tap on your own. That's not that hard. Tapping with another person at the exact same time, far more difficult. Tapping with someone at the exact same time while playing harmonizing notes is unforgiving. If one person is a, in this case, 32nd or 64th note off, it's gonna be noticeable. And it's going to be very, very hard to recover. Um, you got to be spot on. That was fantastic. I want to hear that again. Yeah, right here. That is so hard! Uh-oh. Call the action. Call the arms. And stomach. I'm getting emotional. Why am I getting emotional? Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. This lead singer, uh, 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 Sue, uh, yeah, Sue Metal, uh, she has got this crowd wrapped. I, it is a wrap. It is a done deal. Put it in the books. She has got this crowd, not in the palm of her hand. I use this term not very often. But I'm going to use this term here. She is a stage general. She has the crowd not in the palm of her hand. I know people say that all the time. You got the crowd in the palm of your hand. There's a problem with that. If you have the crowd in the palm of your hand, hey, that's great. What happens when you do this? What happens when you tilt your hand? They're going to lose them. You're going to lose every single person. She doesn't have that. She has, the, she has the crowd in the palm of her hand, and now she clenches that fist, and she holds on tight, mercilessly, relentlessly. She is not letting go, and it's obvious because this crowd is following her. Every single person in that crowd is following her. It's almost as if, if anybody's not following her, like let's say there's that one person in the crowd who's just, they're too cool, you know, they don't wanna they don't wanna stand out or whatever, so they don't put their hand up. It's almost as if the people around them would look at that person and go, What's wrong with you? Get your hand up. 
And you better believe that person's going to get their hand up, whether they want to or not. They don't have a choice. <laughs> because otherwise, the uh, the baby metal army is going to absolutely tear him to shreds. <laughs> wow, she is impressive as a stage general. Dear Lord. I love this call to arms here. Even the people at the top. Even the people at the top. The mush bit stopped. Look at that! The circle pit stopped! It came to a standstill so that they could follow along. You don't see this happen at metal shows. Usually, when the, when the mosh pit goes, when the circle pit goes, it goes. And it does not stop until the song stops. Not in this case. They all came to a stop so they could follow her. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. I don't think I've ever seen that. And that crowd is loud. Band is playing, keeping the crowd going. I can hear the other two. I don't think I've heard the other two really pretty much the entire song. And from what I remember reading in the comments, they're really not. I mean, they're both good vocalists from what I've been reading in the comments. They're both fine vocalists, but they're really more there for the showmanship, the, the dance, uh, the choreography. Uh, they do vocalize, but they don't really, they don't, they're, they're, that's not their focus. And I get it. I, I get it. They have the mics there just in case. I get it. Um, but I can hear them there. I heard them clear as a bell there. That was nice. It was nice to hear them. So, cool. well done. And they're leading the crowd. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Coming apart a little bit, but oh, that's such a great sound. There we go, lead them, and then back on track. Oh, There's only one word to describe that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've been there. I, I've, I've been in that position on stage where you have a crowd singing your songs you lay out, you stop playing, and the crowd keeps singing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you right now, there is no greater feeling in the world than that. No greater feeling. When you're up on stage, you've got 
10,000, 8,000, 5,000, 500. It doesn't matter how many people you have in the crowd. The more the merrier, obviously. When you have that many people in the crowd, you're not playing and they're singing your song and all you're doing is leading them, pumping your fist, keeping them going, but they're doing all the work. They're singing your song back to you. There, That is something special. There is no other feeling like hearing that in the world. Nothing beats that. Yeah, more seductive than sex. It's true. It's absolutely true. That's why I'm getting emotional. I'm kind of having flashbacks to when that's happened to us. And, uh... There's a reason I wear shades on stage. I mean, yeah, I my my condition, yes, I have a I have a medical condition. I have to wear I have to wear shades when I'm on stage. But uh, there's another reason why I'm glad I'm wearing those shades. Sometimes when that happens, I I I tear up. I do. I don't want the crowd to see me cry. No crying. Not when I'm on stage trying to be a badass. There's no crying. <laughs> that was emotional. That was. That was very emotional for me hearing that. You can act like a man! I'm still, I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. It's going in my head. Back up. the sing-along part okay good you know what i mean they went on for a long time but here's the thing it, it they were they kept the sing-along part going for a long time i think it was like two minutes or something like that but that's okay because they changed it up every time like every 45 seconds like sometimes they did with the band the band laid out they came back in with this new part um they kicked in and it, it evolved so it was never the same thing it wasn't like it was the exact same thing for a whole two minutes. That would have gotten old. That was not old. That was really, really well done. The use of the flags is fantastic. I love the fact they're using them as an extension of their body. They're not just holding them. They're, they're actually utilizing them, swinging them around, holding them up high for everyone to see. Uh, very effective, very eye-catching. So, yeah. Uh... Wow. Uh, let's keep going here. <coughs> the synchronized choreography is really good. New section. Okay, hold on. I want to back up. A new section. A new layer. Back 
coming back to the course. It all led up back to the hook. This is one of the most outstanding live performances I have ever seen from any band. Any band. I'm including, hey, I am including Kiss in that equation. They are really putting on an amazing live show. Fantastic live show. Um, good Lord, they're doing everything right. I saw people comment on this. It's called something I forgot. Oh! Oh God, I'm getting emotional again. Stop! Stop! What a great way to end the song with that retardando coming down. Ba ba ba! Oh man! I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, so I was told this is, means something. Um, it, they're not putting the horns up. It's not this. It's it's this. I was told it... I forgot, what, I forgot what it was called. It's some symbol, something about some sort of a god or something like that. It, it, it's representative of something. I, I equate it to Bullet Club, personally. You know, too sweet. But, you know, it, that that's just me. Uh, I, I remember in the comments, a lot of people were saying that this this represents something. And it's it's not putting up the horns. It's not up in the irons. It's something else. It's, oh, God. I do not remember. It, I, I'll have to go back and look at the comments. I'm sure I'll remember. I'm sure once I see it, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Oh, man. This ending, I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> I mean, just in case you didn't know who we are, we are Baby Metal. And they say it more than once. They repeat it over and over and over and over again, hammering it into your head. So by the time you leave that venue, you don't have a choice. You are going to remember that name, I promise you, because it just keeps getting hammered in. It's... It's good marketing. It's good branding. Uh, it's a good way to identify with the crowd. And again, it gives the crowd a chance to be a part of the show. She, the main singer, uh, Sue, she's the one saying, we are. And then, oh God, don't ask me the other two. Uh, oh. Come on. It's only two other names. You, wait. You, is it you, Metal? 
No, Yui Metal. It's Yui Metal, Yui Metal, and Moa Metal. Okay, I, I think I'm almost positive I'm right about that. They're leading the crowd with the response. So the crowd can have the chance to yell Baby Metal too. Again, reinforcing the name, reinforcing the brand, reinforcing the identity so that nobody there in that crowd will forget. So it's a smart ending. And on top of it, they got the big rock and roll ending going for the musicians. Dear Lord. Remember that name. Oh, ah. <laughs> Ending on a harmony. Oh God. Ending on a beautiful harmony. That crowd is humongous. Okay, I had to I had to cut a little bit because I don't want the logos going up and you know the algorithm picking up on the logos and stuff. I, I said at the end I don't I, I may have had to cut it out. I love that stage setup. I love it. It's huge. It's a big wide stage, but it also has that big long uh, runway going all the way down the middle too, which is nice. Gives the lead vocalist a chance to end the well ball all three of all three of them to come up to the crowd and interact with the crowd in a more intimate setting. So, outstanding. Oh my God. I got choked up like three times in one song. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Actually, I think it did one other time. I need I need it okay one I need a, I need to take a break I am I am drained um two I need a, I need a little time to think about this and process there is a ton of information right now swirling around my head and I need to process it and try to compress it down to as little as possible so I don't spend the next hour talking about what I just saw um I'll see you in the review give me a give me a Give me, I'll be, I'll be back in like an hour. I'll, I'll see you then. Four to six days later. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow, indeed. Uh, that was Baby Metal with Road of Resistance. This was requested by 47 people. I am not going to say their names again. It's going to take too long. Uh, I said all their names at the beginning. If you want to hear your name again, go back to the beginning and you can hear your name again. I'm not naming them all off again. But 47 people requested this. Um, there was a lot of hype. There was a lot of hype behind this song. A lot of people made it in the comments. This is going to change your opinion. This is going to make you fall in love with the girls. If this does not make you fall in love with baby metal, if this doesn't do it for you, if this doesn't hook you, if this doesn't get the point across of what baby metal is all about, then it's a lost cause. And it's just never going to happen for you. Um, the, the terms face melting were used quite often. Uh, mind blowing was used quite often. Um, th basically what I'm trying to say is there was a ton of hype behind this song from a lot of people making the comments, a lot of people making this request, both on YouTube and on Patreon. Um, It lived up to the hype. It didn't even just live up to the hype. It surpassed the hype. I don't give tens. I, I don't give tens. But uh, this is up there. This is definitely up there. On a scale of 1 to 10, I think this is the second highest score I have ever given on this channel. I am going to give that a 9.7. Yep, 
9.7. You heard me. I did not stutter. 9.7. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? First of all, let's... I don't even know where to start. There is so much going on. Okay, I'm going to start with... I'm, I don't usually do this. I'm going to start with production, okay? Lighting, effects, pyro, lasers, um, smoke, the whole bit, cryo, the whole bit. Everything about the production on this was fan. Fantastic. Uh, everything added in the right places. Everything was executed in the right places. Lighting reflected the mood and tone of the song. Flames were being used in appropriate spots where needed. Uh, cryo at the end was nice. Um, everything about this production across the board was spot on. So I'm not going to say anything more about that other than fantastic job. Let's talk about the songwriting on this. I could definitely hear the Dragon Force influence on this. I could definitely tell they had a hand in helping to write the song. I don't think they wrote the song, but I could definitely tell they definitely had a hand in assisting with the writing of this song. Um, it was power metal straight up. Not prog, power metal. Uh, this was full of extremely fast guitar runs. This was full of some very impressive core changes, uh, great melodic changes, feel changes, a lot of changes, but not time changes, okay? The time stayed the same the whole song. It was 4-4 four, four all the way through. Um, nothing overly complex, very easy to follow along with from a time signature standpoint, which was made the melodic aspects of the song far more enjoyable for me personally. Um, great chordal structure, great flow, transitioning from section to section to section. Every transition made sense. Um, the musicians. I've heard in the comments that the other videos I watched, I, I for Gimme Chocolate, and I haven't, like I said, the Doki Doki Morning ha reaction hasn't dropped yet. It will be dropping soon, I think, from today's date. It should be dropping soon. I'm sure you're going to get the same comments. Those guys in the skeleton suits, uh, the, the Bones, or I think they're called uh, the Bones Band or something like that, they're not really musicians. They're actors. They're just people they hired to go in those suits and pretend like they were playing. They could have fooled me, honestly, and gave me chocolate. I, I thought they were really playing, but that was all track. Surprise, surprise. That was all track, and I was, I'm legitimately a little surprised by that. I could have sworn I heard live instrumentation, but you get, they fooled me. They fooled me. Um, Doki Doki Morning, obviously it's a music video, so I, I'm not surprised one bit that those were actors. Uh, but I was told that this Kami band, or Kami band, however you pronounce it, I was told they're exceptional musicians. They're all very skilled, very knowledgeable. Um, fantastic at their craft and they really know what they're doing. I believe that wholeheartedly after hearing and seeing what I heard and saw from them. Uh, fantastic musicianship across the board from all parties involved. Uh, I think I saw two guitar players. I think I did. I saw two different guitars. I saw a pink glitter guitar and like a black guitar. So I'm pretty sure there were two guitars. The bassist, uh, I'm almost positive he's playing a six. Uh, it, sound, it, it looked like a 6. The neck was thick enough to be a 6. Maybe a 7, but I doubt it. Um, but exceptional playing from him. Very quick. Keeping up the pace, but locked in with the drummer, who did an exceptional job as well. Uh, fantastic. Solid drumming. Great fills. Never overly played. Never overly used. But doing enough to make the point and fill the spot that he needed to fill in. Fantastic work on his part, too. Um, the girls. I think I get it now. I think I do. I, I think I understand what they're about now. Are they metal? Yes. They are, without question. After hearing this, I have no doubts that they're metal. Um, the whole... J-pop aspects, the the outfit, the choreography, it works. I I don't 
I don't know how else to explain it. It does work. And it's not offensive. It's not distracting. It adds. It's almost like it's almost like interpretational dance. It adds to the overall performance. And I think that's what they're trying to go for. I think I get it now. Uh, their choreography is spot on. I mean, I, I said that before. But I said that during music videos where they can cut and take two. You know, cut, take three, cut, take 17 until they get it right. In a live situation like this, you get one take. That's all you get. And if you don't do it right, you're out of luck. Um, their choreography, from what I could see, was absolutely spot on. Fantastic job from all three of them, especially the two on the sides. They were doing more than than uh, Sue Metal was. Hold on, hold on. I remember the names: Yui Metal, Moa Metal. Yui and Moa Metal were both doing a fantastic job all the way through. They must have stamina for days to be able to keep doing that and to be able to sing at the same time. Sue Metal. Um. Vocal delivery on this was fantastic. Uh, it was powerful. It was strong. Uh, well projected. Great range. Great pitch. Great tone. Um, didn't sound nasally. It didn't sound thin. It sounded strong, powerful, accurate all the way through. Um, very well done. And to top of it all off of that, their showmanship was fantastic. They had the crowd from the downbeat. When that when that song kicked in on the on the beat of the first beat of the first measure, boom! The minute it hit, they had the crowd. They had the crowd locked in, and they never lost them. Not once. Even after the intro was done, and they took that little pause, and Sue Metal did the whole you know split apart and let's see a wall of death. Dear Lord, a wall of death. It doesn't get much more metal than that. Although it really wasn't a wall, it looked more like a triangle, but I've never, look, I've never seen a triangle of death before. That is a first. That is an absolute first for me. So, my very first triangle of death. That was very cool. Um, That's the truth! But their showmanship was fantastic. They had the crowd in the palm of their hand. They put on a fantastic live show. And like I said about, about Sue Metal, I'm actually going to apply this to all three girls. All three girls are stage generals especially Sue, but all three of them are stage generals. They had the palm of their hand open, they had the crowd in it, and then they closed their fist and they never let go for a second. This was one of the most impressive, outstanding live performances I have ever seen in my life. And on top of it, it had a fantastic, well-written, well-executed song behind it. That is why this performance and this song is getting the highest, not the, not the highest, the second highest score in the history of this channel, a 9.7. So, 9.7, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous, and support each other. Later, peace.